so friends let me move on to lesson number one that is family tree and their symbols so friends if you need to crack a question in the blood relation my only advice is kindly learn this family tree and the symbols properly without knowing this concept you can't able to solve a toughest question in your exams so if you need to get a marks and if you need to solve a toughest question my only advice is to learn this family tree and their explanation properly friends if you know the concept 100 percentage clearly then i can guarantee that whatever the question will be difficult you can surely crack the question in your exams so friends there are only six different symbols right one is up arrow down arrow then a small uh, line and the box and the circle so friends this box is denoted for a male person and the circle will be denoted for a female person so friends in the basic itself i have told you that what is first who are all the first generation and who are all the second generation who are all in the zero generation if it is a father mother uncle aunt so the generation will be one if it is grandfather grandmother grand aunt the generation should be two if it is a brother the generation should be zero right if it is an for example i am saying that if it is an husband and wife husband and wife the generation is zero so if you know those concepts it is easy to crack a question friends listen here so friends a is father of b what is the meaning of father friends we know that father is a male person right father is a male person second thing father is a first generation or second generation father is a first generation so friends listen here b is having a father a so first of all write b here. don't write a first of all write b here. b is having a father so father first generation so because of one generation we should use an upper arrow one arrow denotes one generation right so b is having a father a we know that a is a father that is male person is denoted by a box but a daughter that is a girl can call a as a father or otherwise a boy can call a as a father but we don't know what is the gender of b so friends clear on the concept right only one arrow denotes a first generation because father is a first generation so only one arrow mark and a is a father male person so denoted by a box next point friends a is brother of b that is b is having a brother that is a so friends write b here b is having a brother a what is a brother sister relation brother sister generation will be zero generation if it is a zero generation it should be used by a line right see here friends a line that denotes a zero generation and arrow mark denotes one generation so b is having a brother a friends so if a is a brother then a should be a male person we don't know whether b is a girl or b is a boy we don't know the gender of the person b but we can surely say that a is a male person so b is calling a as a brother so brother and sister it's a zero generation so denoted by a line next point friends a is wife of b so friends b is having a wife a so a is a wife then definitely a should be female and b should be male so friends listen carefully if it is an husband and wife it's also zero generation but this husband and wife is denoted by this symbol so friends got the point brother sister zero generation husband wife zero generation but if it is a brother sister you should denote it by a line if it is an husband and wife denoted by the symbol but both are zero generation okay friends next point a is son of b so b is calling a as a son so friends listen carefully b is calling a as a son whether a is a first generation or whether a is a minus one generation think that a is calling someone as a father think that i am calling b as a father right i should call b as a father that means upper arrow think that i am calling b as my son so i should call e is my son right so friends if it is a son if it is a daughter down arrow mark if it is a father if it is a grandfather upper arrow mark right so friends here b son is a so b is saying i am having a son a so b is having a son that is a only one arrow mark denotes that's a one generation think that father son relation will be one but the arrow mark should be down arrow right so friends a is the son so a is is the boy so we don't know whether b can be mother or b can be father but i can surely say that a is the boy that is son so a is denoted by a male person so friends see the difference between both equations friends. most most important b father is a so b father is a up, up arrow and see here b son is a so b son is a down arrow so you should know what is the difference between both the arrow marks 
Next is A is grandfather of B. B is having a grandfather A. Most important friends. Grandfather. Grandfather is a first generation or second generation. Grandfather is second generation. Then we should use two arrow marks. Friends, one arrow mark is for one generation. But here grandfather denotes two arrow marks because grandfather is a second generation. So friends, B is having a grandfather. One arrow, two arrow, that is A, grandfather so a is a male person that is box so b is having a grandfather a why we do not two arrow marks because grandfather is a second generation so friends this is the basic symbols that we are going to use in each and every sum that we are going to solve in the blood relation so friends up arrow denotes father mother and uncle and aunt down arrow denotes it's a son or a daughter so this is a small line indicates that brother sister relation so this symbol denotes husband and wife and this is for a male person <coughs> then finally the circle is for a female person so friends let me take some of the interesting question and try to solve it if you know this lesson properly guarantee i will surely say that you can crack a question in your exams so friends let me move on to some of the interesting tree diagram in this video so friends by using all the symbols i have just drawn a small family tree here right so friends i think everyone knows this this symbol is denoted for husband and wife and an upper arrow that denotes either father mother or uncle a down arrow that denotes son or daughter right friends two upper arrow denotes it's a grandfather grandmother two down arrow denotes it's a grandson or granddaughter right okay friends by using a various symbols and also by using a various letters i have just drawn a small tree diagram by using this tree diagram we need to find answer for all the remaining 10 questions so friends before seeing those 10 questions let me understand what are all the how many male members are there what are all the relations between the persons right okay first of all let me start from here so friends a and b is husband and wife a is a male person then b is a female person right and a is having a sister that is m so m is having a daughter that is o because down arrow denotes a daughter and it is a circle so this denotes a female person so m is having a daughter o and a is having a son n and a is having a daughter t but we don't know what is the gender of s friends either it can be male or it can be female right so friends there are brothers and sister relation okay then this b is having a brother u and the brother u is having a daughter z but we don't know what is the gender of k right it can be girl or it can be boy okay next is this b is having a mother c and b is having a father f this denotes husband and wife and this c is having a sister that is p so friends by using all the letters we have just made a small family tree so friends my advice if you know the concept of this 10 question if you can able to answer all the 10 question then you have completed 60 percentage of the blood relation it will be so easy if you know all the 10 question answer friends no doubt lesson number two lesson number three lesson number four will be all a simple if you know this concept only if you can't able to understand this concept kindly learn again and again if you know 100 percentage sure that you have learned all the concept of the blood relation then you can go for all the remaining lessons that is lesson number two lesson number three and lesson number four okay friends question number one a to s that means from a we need to see what is the relation of s right so from a we need to see what is the relation of s friends we know that a is having a son that is n but we don't know what is the gender of s if this s is a male person then the answer is son from a the uh, if the relation from a if we see what is the relation of s we don't know the gender of s if it is a male person it can be son if it is a female person it will be daughter so the answer for the first question from a to relation to the s is either son or daughter okay friends question number two n to m that is from n we need to see what is the relation of m from n to relation yeah n is here so friends from n we need to see what is the relation of m so friends listen carefully from n we know that a is a father right father sister is m what is father sister father sister is an aunt so we can surely say that the answer for the second question that is aunt question number three friends f to n from f we need to find what is the relation of n okay so friends from f we know that f the daughter of f is b and b is having a son that is s 
So daughter son. What is the meaning of daughter son? That denotes two Aramark friends. Two Aramark denotes it should be either a grandson or it should be granddaughter. From F we need to find what is the relation of N. So N is a male person. So definitely the answer is grandson. Okay friends. Next question that is fourth question. C to S. So from C we need to find what is the relation of S friends. Uh, C is here and we need to find what is the relation of S. Oh. Okay friends same thing because here b mother is c so we can surely say that c having a daughter b but b is having a son or a daughter we don't know what is the gender of s right so the answer is from c if we see what is the relation of s it can be either grandson or it can be granddaughter if it is a male person the answer is grandson if it is a female person the answer is granddaughter okay friends question number five k to a so from k we need to find what is the relation of a so friends here friends we don't know what is the gender of K. We don't want to worry about that. Why? Because from K we need to target the relation of A. So friends, from K we know that B is a sister. Right? Sister husband is A. So the K should call a sister husband. Sister husband should be brother-in-law. So the answer for the question will be brother-in-law. So friends got the point. Right? K is having a sister B. So B husband is A. So husband that is sister's husband. Sister husband will be brother-in-law. So finally answer from K to A will be brother-in-law. Okay friends question number 6. B to M. B to M. Right. B to M. Okay friends see here. B is having a husband A. And this husband is having a sister M. That is husband sister. Husband sister should be called it as sister-in-law. So from B to M the answer is sister-in-law. Okay friends next thing. Seventh question that is A to K. A to K. Mm. So friends, from A where B is, A wife is B. And friends, we don't know what is the gender of the person, right? If B, if this person K is a male person, then this A should call the K as brother-in-law. Because wife, brother, brother-in-law. If K is a female person, then it is a sister-in-law. So the answer should be either brother-in-law or either sister-in-law. So the answer is brother-in-law or sister-in-law, right? Okay, friends, question number 8. That is A to F. A to F. Okay, friends, A to F. Uh, a wife is B and B father is F. So wife father. Wife father should be called as father-in-law, right? So friends, A to B husband-wife relation. So wife father is F. So how a, a can call the person F? So the answer is father-in-law. Wife, father. So answer is father-in-law. Question number 9 friends. A to O. A to O. I think interesting question where many of the students will make a mistake. And these are the repeated question can be seen in many competitive exam friends. That is question number 9. A to O. So friends listen carefully. From A, O is M. A is having a sister M. Right? Sister daughter is o so question number 10 that is n to p so friends from n we need to find what is the relation of p right this is also an important question so friends listen here friends from n we know that b is this mother right so mother is having a mother that is c so friends what is the meaning of mother relation maternal don't forget friends if it is a father paternal if it is a mother, maternal, right? So friends, from N, we can say that the relation of C will be maternal grandmother, right? But they are talking about N to P. In the basic itself, I have told you that grand, this is grandmother, grandmother sister should be called it as a maternal grand aunt. So friends got the point. P is an aged person, right? If you, if you need to go for the concept, concept wise answer, see here friends. P is a second generation aged person, so we can use a word grand. So grand denotes a person is aged, that is second generation. Friends, we know this is grandmother. So grandmother's sister, it should be called it as an aunt. So this is grand aunt. So friends, got the point. From N, C is grandmother, that is maternal grandmother. Maternal grandmother's sister is P. So the answer should be grand aunt because of mother relation. So we need to use maternal. So finally, the answer is maternal grand aunt. So friends, my advice is kindly know the answer for 9 and 10, which is most important. That is repeated in many competitive exams. So don't forget to know the concept of 9 and 10. So friends, after watching this video, kindly pass this video 
try to answer for different tree diagrams that you know u to a or a to f right similarly you just pick some of the relation and try to answer the question so friends if you know the 100 percent concept of this tree diagram i can guarantee that you will surely solve the question in your all the competitive exams